we waited, we wanted to wait after we got married for a little while. Once we did decide we were ready to have kids, um, it wasn't happening. I know that there's women out there that get pregnant all day long, naturally speaking, because that's how our bodies were designed. But that wasn't happening for us. So we invited God into the situation and He answered in a mighty way. If you can imagine, every month for six years I had an opportunity to be frustrated or to rejoice. And I took opportunities in both directions. You know, there were times where I was so frustrated and, and I wasn't frustrated with God. I was frustrated. I got down on myself because I was like, where's my faith? My faith isn't working. He was so faithful to always send me an encouraging word through a person or through scripture. And always, always, every time, he always pulled me out of my despair, my like looking at my natural circumstances, my going, God, what's happening? Why isn't this happening for me? And it almost, at times when it wasn't happening, when I wasn't getting pregnant, month after month after month, it, there were times it was gut-wrenching, you know, because you're remote, because you, you have such a desire for that. And like, Lord, I've seen it. I've seen it on the inside, but it's not here yet. In my private time with the Lord, I would just sit and talk to Him and I would say, Lord, give me a vision of my child because I had many, many years where it was growing in my heart and it was just flowing out of my heart like, God, I want this child. And I got to the point where I didn't just want a baby, I wanted her, like specifically her, her personality traits, her, her physical attributes. And so God put a vision on the inside of me of what she would look like and her life. And that was such an intimate moment with me and God. And I was able to just do that through the years and it just kept growing and growing and growing in me. And that's where I got to the place of, God, you've got this, you've got this. I'd gone to the doctor just for a regular checkup and he found something and he said, um, I think this could be why you're not getting pregnant and you need to have surgery. We need to have this removed and it was a total blow to me emotionally. I was just crying out to the Lord and this question kept coming up in me. And the question was, Lacey, what do you really believe? And I knew I had to answer that question. So over the course of a few weeks, I uh, just spent time, that question just kept coming up. And Lacey, what do you believe? And I said, Lord, I know I've seen too much. I've seen you heal too many people. I've seen you heal me. I've seen you move in miraculous ways. I've seen too much to believe that this is too big for you. We were celebrating our eighth wedding anniversary and we'd taken the day off from work together, came home from whatever we were doing and I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna take a test and I happen to have one lying around because we were trying for so long. So I took the pregnancy test and it came back positive and I am bawling my eyes out. And I walk into the kitchen and he's doing something and he looks at me, he's like, oh no, <laughs> why are you crying, what's wrong? And I took him with me to show him the test and I showed it to him and he said, you're pregnant. And I said, yeah, I'm pregnant. The first time I really connected with her was when we were alone in the hospital. And everyone else was gone and it was just she and I. And that's when I started to just see, I guess I started to see God's grace in her. You know, and in that moment, being able to just connect with my child for the first time after all of those years of really wanting her. That was the culmination of, God, this is real. Your word is true and you're faithful. So her name is Emily Grace, and her name means admiring the grace of God. And that's what I do when I look at her.